Hello and welcome. Shello here with another patch update for Palia. Today we'll be going over patch 0 0.176. All right, let's take a look and see what they got for us. Celebrate Luna New Year as Magi Market returns. Hello, Pallians, and Happy New Year, more specifically here in Palia. There is a special holiday worth celebrating that we want to invite everyone to partake in. Luna New Year. Magi Market returns, and with every... Sorry, and with even more attractions available to celebrate the occasion. We've also prepared some other goodies and, of course, much needed bug fixes to the game. Take a look at a glance. Return of Maji Market just in time for Luna New Year. A secret romance blooms. Tons of new housing customization options. Star quality laceable star stones. Ooh. Star stones that are placeable. That's cool. All right. So it looks like they have a bunch of stuff. You know, it's going to be a long patch when you have a, t a table of contents, but I'm actually going to skip over that. Uh, new features and updates. Okay. We already saw this video last time when we talked about the January update. So I'm just going to skip through this. Okay. Here we go. 18 exclusive food options are available only at the Maji Market. You can pick up the following from various stalls. Rhett's Lupia, Rhett's Bon Chung, Rhett's Noodle Rolls, Salty Hot Pot Takeout, Tangy Hot Pot Takeout, um, Umami Hot Pot Takeout, Spicy Hot Pot Takeout. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Delilah's Eight Treasure Rice, Delilah's uh, Nyan Gao, right, is it Neon Gao or Nyan Gao? I don't know. Delilah's Fried Sesame Balls, Delilah's Almond Cookies. Oh, that sounds delicious. Delilah's Hopia or Hopia. Delilah's Capes or Cops. I don't know. Seki's Takiyaki, Delilah's Ube Takiyaki, Delilah's Custard Takiyaki. Wow. Oh, no, Taiyaki. I'm, re I'm reading it incorrectly. I'm so sorry. Ta I can't read. <laughs> Delilah's Pan Pandan... Taiyaki, Delilah's Spicy Taiyaki. I hope I said that right. With every purchase, there's a chance for it to be a star quality version. Can you collect enough to display the full set back home? I hope so. So, um, just for context, you need to have a, star, a food to be star quality in order for you to place it. So that's what they're referring to here. Hopefully, um, that'll be really cool to place in our homes. The, I mean, this whole, like array here looks so cool like let me just zoom in a little bit here um but oh my god all right 25 new decor pieces from luna new year are available the following 15 options are obtainable at various stalls in maji market okay uh maji market no hunt signs market fruit post basket tall lantern market lantern market hot pot rug and new year candy box interesting see new year short lamp post okay so it's basically like a bunch of the items we saw in the trailer then i i don't think i need to read through all this see the following 10 options are obtainable by completing the maji market stamp card oh okay so i guess this is like the wish activity or something that they showed in the trailer it says here uh lula new year poster uh new year personal hot pot new year lucky wish tree new year blue ball uh blue uh wall decor New Year pink wall decor, orange, blue. Oh, these are ornaments. Okay, so orange, blue, pink. Sorry. I think I'm reading that too fast. Orange wall decor, blue ornament, pink ornament, orange ornament, and then a uh, New Year wall banner. Nice. These look really cool. Like, just looking at all these different things, these look really cool. Super, super excited. And I think this is the hot pot they were talking about right here. So, and the no hunt sign, that's funny. <laughs> um, all right, make sure to grab them be from the event before they go away. Two new crops, two new forgeables have been added. You can purchase bok choy and napa cabbage seeds at Delilah's stall at the Maji Market or Zeki's general store. Green onion and ginger are new forgeables that can, forageables, not forgeables that can be found throughout Kilima Village or purchased at Delilah's stall. 
Nice, nice. Okay, yeah, these are definitely new plants. They look cool. Nice. I like that there's new things to plant. We've long awaited to add some more regional variety to gardening and cooking, and the Luna New Year event ha uh, was a great opportunity to introduce these to the game and give players some more options early in the game. Note, these crops are forageables, will be available permanently, even after Maji Market ends. I'm glad they said that, because I, I was uh, wondering that too. Like, I was like, will this be around? <laughs> yes, it will. Cool. Nine new dishes are ready to be cooked. The following have been added. Lucky braised fish, steamed fish, spicy crab fried rice, rice cake soup, mushroom dumpling soup, rice cake stir fry, kimchi, stir, uh, kimchi fried rice, stuffed cabbage rolls, pan fried dumplings. Okay. All recipes can be purchased at Rhett's stall at the Maggi Market. The ingredient soy sauce has also been added and can be purchased at the lila stall at the magic market or zeki's general store nice wow these look i mean they look great these are awesome here are the three emotes that we saw last time in the um in the trailer where it's like a heart peace signs and a bow all right uh let's see these emotes are available free for everyone. This is what I was worried about. Thank goodness. You can find them in the collections menu and equip them with your emote wheel. Hell yeah. Sabira can now be romanced, but shh, keep it under wraps. That's interesting. The conflict of her role as an agent of the order and her feelings for you take center stage for anyone pursuing Sabira. You'll need friendship level four maxed out with her. Wow. And the quest high stakes will be the start. Friendship level four. Holy crap. That's higher than, than all the other NPCs. The other NPCs only need friendship level three for you to start romancing them. So the fact that she needs level four, like that's kind of that's kind of interesting. But it makes sense considering her personality. You know, this is for all you Palians looking for an older female romance. Yeah, there we go. Forbidden romance, older woman, slow burn, spy, secret agent, loyalty, duty, devotion. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's see, Luna New Year theme wallpapers have been added. Okay, this is what the wallpapers look like. Huh. We got a nice variety going. I actually really like this. This is going to look really nice. Imagine like a, like a dining room or something with some of these colors. Oh man, that's going to look real nice. Several new exterior themed wallpapers have been added. Nine roof wallpapers have been added. Oh, they're called wallpapers for the roof. Interesting. Clean slates roof, glazed grooves tile roof, uh, burnt barrel roof. Okay, I can't even pronounce half of these, but <laughs> lotus kiln roof. Let's see. Four exterior styled wallpapers have been added. Wood shingle. Wait a second. Wood shingle siding, paper screen wallpaper, infinite ivy wallpaper, mud brick mortar wallpaper. These can all be purchased for renown at the city hall. Interesting. So it looks like you need to get your, um, you got to save your renown for this. At least now I have something to do with it other than just, you know, sacrificing it to the dragon or whatever. I don't think that's how that works, but you know, <laughs> it's whatever. These uh, it's it's really nice seeing that there is uh going to be a little bit of variety in the roofs because I remember thinking like, man, that you know the roof colors are like really really clash with the wallpapers I chose. It feels like. All right, the reason why these wallpapers are at City Hall and cost renown is part of how we want exterior options like building add-ons and these new wallpapers to be distinguished from the offerings at Tish's store, which focuses more on interior decor. Okay, that makes sense. See, bay windows can now be purchased. Ooh, we have new windows? Oh, looks like the approval form got stuck behind a cabinet in Kenley's office, but they're here and they're finally here now. Wow. Wow, look at that. That looks nice. Oh, that is, you know what? That's going to be cool. So, and where does this say? They're just there. It doesn't, oh, it can be purchased at City Hall. Okay, okay. Oh, so it, that might, I don't know if that's also renowned. I'm going to have to check. There is now a quest pouch tab in the inventory that quest related items will be sorted into. Thank God, because that shit takes up all my inventory. So I am very happy about that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Adjustments. Winter Lights has come to an end. Map-wide decor and limited seasonal items have been removed from the game. We hope you enjoyed learning about uh, more about the tradition of being part of the celebration. 
cool star stones can now drop star quality versions at a small chance how small is that chance i wonder and yes they are placeable as decor i love that i absolutely love that i wonder what the price difference is going to be now i think about it fireplace can now accept uh wall decor to be placed on it Ooh, that's nice i know this was a big problem for like uh the acceptance reason so like when you finish the uh shep ceremony and you become part of like you know kill a village officially they give you a wreath depending on um what I, I think it's depending on something to do with the seasons or whatever but they're like all different seasonal reads but i forget exactly how you get the different ones um that that's you know for another day but uh the thing that really frustrated me about it is that you couldn't place it above the fireplace like it like when you try to place it above the fireplace it just wouldn't let you so the fact that that's a thing now i'm really happy about that if anyone recalls one stage screenshot where we shared back during winter lights well we followed up on our promise <laughs> Yeah, I guess people were probably complaining about that. Let's see, three new outfit bundles have been added to the premium store for Luna New Year. All right. I Oh, I think I commented on these uh, in the videos. These look kind of cool. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Featured outfit high-tech conjurer bundle. Includes Rune Rider, Manted Mastermind, and Grim Tech Genius. Each outfit comes with a hat a top and bottom equipping the top piece will have magical runes pieces swirl around you when idle Ooh. oh that is, that is nice that's kind of cool dragon dancer bundle each outfit comes with a hat okay uh let's see nothing really interesting here for me let's see premium glider skin is now available for purchase Ooh, that's a nice looking that's a nice looking glider I wonder if you could change it, its colors. Let's see, glider dancer. Hold on, dragon dancer glider can be purchased for one thousand uh, two hundred seventy-five palia coins. Equipping the gear will have a special trail effect with sound that flows as you glide. Ooh, that's nice. This might act. This glider might actually be worth the purchase. <laughs> you know, just saying. Um, FAQs. What about the Chopper Chase tickets that I had from last Maji Market? Where where did they go? Because this version of the Maji Market is a special occasion to celebrate Luna New Year, you'll be earning lucky envelopes instead. But no worries, your Chapla Chase tickets are still safe and sound. They'll be back with the next regular return of Maji Market. Interesting. Okay. So hold on to them if you have if you have some from last year, I guess. All right, top bug fixes. Normally, I wouldn't go through the bug fixes, but considering how many bug uh, issues this game had, I think I'll I'll kind of briefly glance at this. Uh, players who did not get the Silverwing Bundle Prize when completing the bundle will now get it. Oh, imagine. Jesus Christ. You know, I actually didn't get that far. Let's see, but you will need to go into the Air Temple to receive it. The all-in-order quest should now be fixed, and the basement should be accessible. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Our devs have been working hard on those creatures teleporting around and getting stuck. It should be noticeably better. This is the Mujin can be wonky and weird and went wild. They're especially, they especially run into problems when trying to run back to a tree. Yeah, I've noticed the Mujin are super glitchy. Let's see. Fixed a switch bug where, so the Nintendo Switch they're referring to, where items uh, were showing as non-craftable even if the player had all the items. Okay, this problem was not a Switch problem. This problem was in... Well, it, I'm not saying Switch specifically. It was a problem on PC too. This was an issue I kept seeing every time I tried to craft something. I would have to exit the menu and come back just to try and fix it. So I'm not surprised this problem was on Switch. I hope they fixed it for PC also because this isn't just a Switch bug. Let's see. Fixed an issue on the Switch where pressing B to cancel cooking on the Switch would cause some pretty wild camera issues. Jesus. Fix an issue where closing and opening the tool repair window would uh, occasionally crash the game on Switch. Wow, okay. Fix an issue where going to the purchase... Uh, sorry. Fix an issue where when going to purchase Palia coins, players would be redirected to a blank screen. That's interesting. I, I've actually had this issue on PC. Uh, let's see. Also fix an issue where when purchasing an item, the payment selection screen would not load for quite some time. Okay, uh, it's not the first time I've heard of this. 
We had recipes that were requesting not yet in Palia veggies. These recipes have been adjusted. What? I didn't even know that. That's really interesting. Huh. Fix an issue where the button to visit other players' housing plots appeared grayed out when it was able to be clicked, which was a bit confusing. That's happened to me before. So yeah. Fix an issue where when placing furniture and items, items were not snapping to the grid correctly. Um, if it happened, I didn't notice. Fix an issue where the relationship progress bars within it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we got to look at this carefully because remember I got ghosted by Einar. <laughs> For those of you who've seen my live stream uh, the last time, I think it was like last week I was playing Palia. I got ghosted, man. So if you want to know more about that, make sure you check that out. Fix an issue where the relationship progress bars within NPCs pages appear to have more progress than the bars that showed when viewing all the NPCs together. Oh, that's weird. Server sync button was not appearing grayed out for players in another zone. That's interesting. Players were not being smoothly transitioned into the wardrobe slash dressing room UI menu. We fixed this, so you should now smoothly slide into your new outfits with your previews. I really hope so, because I remember when I was doing my Palio review, I actually couldn't demonstrate this. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't demonstrate the preview because it was just bugged. So I really hope that that is the case. Saw two signs when you first entered your housing plot. No more. We finally removed the clown of the sign. I've never seen that. What the hell? The prompt to contribute to sub bundles was misleading, which is wait, which is now corrected. Sub bundles. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Stabilize the game to fix ongoing crashing issues for some players we're experiencing. That's always good. Um, I've had a few crashes in the game, but it's not like super common. It just happens enough that I remember it happening, if that makes sense. Uh, top known issues. We are still working on a bug where the air temple is not able to be completed by players. Oh, I think they're talking about me. While parts of it have been fixed this patch, as highlighted above, the work for getting this fully ironed out is ongoing by our teams. We will highlight loudly once this has been fixed fully. Amen. Let's see. There is still an issue where players are unable to play their friends with their friends across EU, JP, and NA servers. This is another pretty big bug we're working on, and we're working hard to getting you all back to playing together. All right, good. Interacting with the wardrobe while your character is stuck in the missing textures and T-posing appearance will cause your character to reset slash change appearances permanently. Luckily, I haven't messed with that, but I have heard of that happening. <laughs> you should now be able to recustomize and gel shop and to reset your character's look. Yay! Some players are experiencing a blank screen when attempting to purchase Palia coins. While we've been able to identify some of this issue and resolved it for most, players may still see this persist. Thank you for your patience on this one. Okay, so the big problem for me, the thing with the air temple, like I am one of those people, like I have not been able to complete the air temple because it's just not, it's just completely bugged. Like, like it'll literally be like, do this thing. I'll be like, okay, and then I count, and I'm like, yeah, I have all the things, and it's like, oh, you don't have all the things, but I have all the things. No, you don't have all the things. So, as you can imagine, that is very frustrating, um, but yeah, I love to see these changes. I'm super, super excited to get uh, hopping onto this patch. Now, um, because it is patch week, I decided not to play Palia on stream this week. Um, I will be playing it next week, though. I just don't know what day of the week. So yeah, if you liked the uh, patch note rundown, uh, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, again, my name is Sholo Q. I stream, I, well, when I stream, I stream three times a week on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays normally at five o'clock PM PST. So if you ever want to stop in and say hello, feel free to do so. And I do uh, draw videos regularly on my channel. So feel free to check it out right now. I'm uh, doing a silent playthrough of Pal World. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check it out. And I also have a lot of V Rising content 
and um, some also uh, content from other games as well that you guys might like. So uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And again, Shillow out.